All right, hey, what's going on there, folks? Earthmaster here. It is, um, what day is it? Oh, Sunday. I thought it was in the middle of the week for some reason. Anyway, Sunday, April 28th, 2019, 6, 23 p.m. West Coast time here in the state of California. Um, taking a look at the live earthquake data over here to the left side of the screen uh, shows relatively minor activity, if anything at all. Looks like a little bit of possible activity occurring over around uh, Northwest California with that second uh, seismograph station there, but uh, nothing big not even probably worth mentioning um, Also the earthquake 3d globe over here on the right side of the screen here um, Take a look at the most recent earthquake looks like it is a 4.1 Magnitude earthquake in that green flag right there uh, it's, Well Way down there way south of Mexico. I'm not for sure exactly which country that's um, at uh, but definitely, I want to talk about some earthquake activity north of there into Southern California and also Nevada uh, showing some activity as well. Uh, bring down these magnitudes a little bit and we can stretch back the date. And we can see a uh, pretty good cluster of quakes out there in the state of Nevada. Now, I did do a little bit of researching out there. Um, couple years back uh, went out and checked out this uh, area called Sheldon uh, National Wild National Antelope Refuge I believe is what it's called it's been a few years um, and checked out uh, the earthquake swarm area that was going on over there but uh, this activity this newer activity here is east of that region that I was inspecting here uh, a few years back now this here is a close-up shot of the area. Let me uh, back out of here just a little bit so you guys can see what I'm talking about here. Uh, this is the satellite view of Nevada uh, with the earthquake activity occurring out there. So you got California over here to the west. And uh, we're going to zoom in a little bit here on the satellite image of this earthquake activity that's been uh, relatively moderate to say the least here. Um, in magnitudes that is now the USGS puts us at uh, 46 kilometers northwest of Austin Nevada out here in the desert and there's not a whole lot of um, fault systems out here there's a couple unnamed faults out here uh, let's go ahead and bring that up so you guys can see that let's see what I'm talking about here oh, actually it's already up there so let's back out with the satellite and let's go with the uh, terrain here and this system will show you the fault systems in the area like I said there's areas around here these red lines indicating some fault systems here uh, but nothing close to the activity um, and there's a bunch of unnamed faults like these little ones up here um, to the north of the area but uh, anyway, so yeah, Nevada's got all these mountains, right? And of course, uh, mountains are created from, you know what, of course, plate tectonics and all that good stuff. I'm not going to go into detail. So it's not abnormal to see earthquake activity where there's mountains, right? Obviously. Um, but we are seeing just an increase out of the blue. Uh, started with some twos and whatnot, worked their ways up to a 4.0. And the uh, most recent earthquake activity looking like it's a 4.1. On the magnitude scale and these ranging pretty shallow uh, we did see a somewhat deeper one there um, away from the area at about what is that 13 kilometers 18 kilometers can't really see it's pretty tiny here on the screen um, but most of the activity here is confined in the center area um, pretty shallow roughly around a couple kilometers below the surface there in a confined area and there's not a whole lot out there um, I want to bring back the satellite here and take a look at that again there was some type of dry lake bed out here to the southwest of here looks like that's dried up pretty uh, pretty nicely um, but other than that it's just not a whole lot folks no military bases, no uh, no cities, no towns, just sporadic, odd earthquakes out here. 
and uh, like I said they're on the increase in magnitudes as well so we'll keep an eye on it out there in Nevada um, I haven't been able to pull up any stations in the region there as far as live seismic activity goes but uh, I will continue to look into that um, here in the near future and um, let's go over here and check out the um, other map of the USGS one day magnitude all magnitudes I should say in one day and uh, this here is just the plain view and once again the activity very visible up here in Nevada and a little bit of activity down here in Southern California as well um, nothing big but uh, definitely on the increase it seems like uh, especially down here uh, right around the uh, Los Angeles Basin area and uh, south of, uh, Palm Desert up here as well or I should say down here as well uh, just a couple threes nothing uh, in even the moderate range so just minor activity but definitely on the increase um, over the last couple of days that we've seen pretty uh, quiet quiet activity uh, let's go ahead and see where yeah this here's the other map this shows you a little bit uh, a little bit older view if you're used to the older map from the USGS go ahead and uh, refresh that real quick and show you guys the uh, well that's gonna there we go Okay, so, um, you know, it's hard, it's hard to say what's going on out here in the Intermountain West and the, the Great Basin region. Uh, like I said, it's just typical to see earthquake activity out here from time to time. And, um, you know, we'll keep an eye on it and uh, see if it does develop into any type of swarming activity. bring up the uh, slow slip event uh, activity there we go this here is just the last three hours of trimmer movement hourly trimmer map here still showing some activity up there in western Washington uh, southwest of Seattle take you over the last couple days here see what I'm talking about uh, activity has calmed down but it's still there this here is uh, once again slow slip movement tremor detection along the uh, Cascadia subduction zone and uh, once again still pretty much confined to these areas that we've seen in the past meaning uh, central Washington northern Oregon kind of skips uh, central Oregon a little bit and moves down south to the uh, southern Oregon northern California border a little bit of activity looks like possible trimmer activity in the central Oregon region there but uh, either way it's been moving it's been uh, slipping for um, a couple weeks now I believe and uh, as always this could apply more pressure over here towards the east towards the Intermountain West region that's kind of why we're possibly could be why we're seeing some uh, some activity in the uh, Great Basin region there. Some uh, some stress release a little bit. But uh, other than that, folks, you know it's uh, it's the Earth. That's what that's what uh, happens, right? She likes to build mountains and uh, blow her top once in a while with volcanoes. Worldwide activity. This here's the last. Uh, 24 hours of activity from the USGS 2.5 and above and also the um, EMSC website the last 50 earthquakes in their database um, nothing major to report a couple moderate earthquakes out here around the Caribbean and the uh, North South America region but other than that no nothing really popping out at me right now as far as unusual activity uh, Mediterranean Sea region or within that vicinity seeing some threes and a couple fours as well popping off over there um, but uh, relatively 
moderate earthquake if you take a look at the whole big picture uh, 3.4 that one down around the uh, well south of Los Angeles region there in California being the most recent one there in California so we'll keep an eye on it folks I got a busy busy week ahead of me um, I am gonna be heading out for a week or about maybe 10 days of storm chasing out here or out there in the uh, central plains southern plains area looks like a fairly active week of storm chasing um, and tornado possibility and whatnot so I'm gonna try to stream more try to live stream more it was very very difficult for me uh, last trip last go around there in eastern Texas as a uh, cell phone service is very spotty and skippy and uh, not to mention the uh, the views out there they're as beautiful as they are with all the trees and the pines it's hard to see any potential storm or tornado coming at you if you're just relying on uh, visuals um, but uh, it's it's I'm a one-man team while I'm out there so I'm looking at all these radars and uh, projections and and uh, road maps and you know it's kind of hard and then to mix in a live stream out there it's even more difficult on top of that but uh, the open plains Oklahoma possibly uh, well, Kansas had some activity today. We're still having some activity. But uh, we'll see where the storms bring me. And uh, I'll do my best to get out there and live stream um, more actively this go around. And uh, we'll start it off uh, pretty soon. Anyway, folks, have a good day. Um, so, yeah, stay tuned for some storm chasing activity over this week in uh, next weekend and uh, see if we can't get lucky with a little twister or two peace out folks be prepared for uh, any type of weather any earthquake activity out there as it can happen uh, anywhere right peace